What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Metronome Team number three. Oh, man, it's been so long since I've done one of these. I'm hyped to do it. So uh, if you'd like to see these maybe a little bit more often than like once a year, I don't know, leave a like on the video. Uh, if we get a lot more likes than usual, I will consider doing them more often. So up to you guys if you want to see these. It's uh, The ball is in your court. Now, question of the day, people. What is your favorite Pokemon? Mine is Dragonite. Put yours in the comment section. I'd love to hear what your favorite is. <laughs> this video is hilarious. You've got to stick around for the whole thing. I've got some special things throughout the whole video. So we've got Beast Ball Nagadero. How could I expose people? I should record the screen and make a 10 minute, one second video on that. Right, so we've got a physical uh, set here. It's going to hit me with the poison jab, doing under half my health. That they must have watched my sweet people. So I'm going to go for the Metro. Obviously, all my Pokemon only know Metro. Now, the item I gave them was Leperberry. Also had Normalium Z, so I could use Normalium Z Metro as well. So they were my items. Uh, and that my EVs were just... I just put the best stat in there. Attacking stats, mostly. So now the Naganero is going to go for the uh, Dragon Pulse here. And I actually was surprised I lived that one. Man, that must be some amazing EVs. So now going, I'm waggling my finger and Mega Kick actually lands. And guess what, guys? It lived on like one health. But the infestation is going to take it out. And I take the early lead. Man, I had some multi battles. I had some double battles. I had some single battles. So I've got some uh, cool stuff throughout this video. So now we have the Decidueye coming out. They're definitely not a, uh, their starter. So I'm going to outspeed that one, which is nice. Waggling my finger again. And I get Blizzard and it hits. I'm like, oh, wow. I actually didn't have any uh, special attack EVs and I almost took it out so that was hype. Uh, just to top that off would have been like the, the free sacks but I'm happy that was really good. So uh, it's going to uh, just completely miss me with the arrow. Somehow it takes me out. Oh man that must be hacked. So that's down. Alright so I've still got five Pokemon left and I'm going to swap in my Mr. Mime. So this was Technician Mr. Mime which actually worked surprisingly well in a lot of the battles because um, you know, there's, there was a lot of like real weak moves used and it's just purely luck as well So I'm gonna get dig burrowing my way underground look at those those digging hands and uh, now it's gonna hit me with this spirit shackle But it's gonna miss now. I'm gonna go for dig. Obviously. This is not gonna be enough to take it out I've got max speed and max special attack EV so and it was not very effective too so now we have the Decidueye going for the Z move here. I thought they might use the signature move, but it's not going to be uh, that after all. It's going to be the Flying Z. I'm guessing it's coming off like uh, Brave Bird or something. But uh, anyway, I was like, oh, well, that, that's not going to be enough uh, to actually live that Mr. Mime isn't what you call the most bulkiest Pokemon in the world. Obviously, so I had some of the battles I had on Plaza and my chat too. Man, I had a ball in my chat today. We had so many cool... I uh, find Metronome battles. So somehow I lift that one and I'm going to waggle my white finger again and I go for the ominous win and take it out. I was hoping I'd get a scummy boost there, but that wasn't enough. But that's cool um, that I've taken uh, the Decidueye out. So this battle, I was going to put at this point, I was like, I'm going to put probably put this battle up anyway because it's going uh, like a swimmingly at the moment. Speaking of swimmingly, we have the Gyarados coming out. Definitely not going to be a mega. Um, I wasn't, as I said, I, I thought I could get maybe one hit off against this. And uh, that'd be enough uh, for me to go down. Or it's going to have uh, Dragon Ant to just completely sweep my entire team. I, I was ready for that. So outspeeding the Mega Gyarados, which is always nice too. And uh, I get the Sleep Pout. Ah, and it misses, unfortunately. I was like, damn. How it's going to use Rain Dance. Like, oh, man. If it's got any... Even if this thing's got like... Uh, like I don't know. Like... Bubble, it's going to hurt. So my Mr. Mime is uh, just on its last legs here on 12 health. Going for the Metronome again. Now, obviously, Metronome had 16 health. The Leopard Berry actually uh, does uh, 10 recovery on that. So that gives me 26. I get Dazzling Gleam. I couldn't actually... I couldn't believe that. And then they're going to go for the Thunder Special Gyarados. People, man. I, I'm, I, I can't believe I'm laughing at the sets when I use, like, Special Gyarados myself. So Mr. Mime is down. Man, I love that strategy. Rain Dance, Thunder, Mega Gyarados. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm doing that. So now, swapping in Sableye. Now, this is all the way from Gen 3 to... It's going to have Hydro Pump. Man, this strategy is sick. It does, like, three quarters damage. I live on 69 health. Now, I'm going to go for the Metronome, hoping I can take this out. And then I get Focus Miss and it lands. I can't believe that. That's so lucky. And uh, I, I'm not sure. That was de definitely overkill, I think. I actually gave the Sableye max health and max attack. So now... We have the next Ultra Beast being Clowny. Oh, man, it's shiny, too. At least it uh, was in a Beast Ball this time. So now it's going to go for the Shadow Ball on my Sableye. And uh, obviously, that's going to be way too much for me to take. And that is down. But I was quite happy with that. Now, I was like, what's it going to boost? Is it going to boost a special attack or its speed? It boosts its speed. I'm like, oh, that's really good. Because if it boosts a special attack, 
I was in big, uh, I was in big trouble. So now swapping in Mil Tank. Now Mil, uh, I, I found in these battles, right, normal Pokemon were really good for Metroid and uh, like a ghost Pokemon were too. So they went for a mind blown in the rain. Oh man, it does just does so much to me. I'm gonna waggle my finger and use Heart Stamp against the Blastfiat, and that was actually enough to take it out. What they must have had like. I don't know, like zero in defense or something, and that the rain stops people. So an amazing battle so far. Now we have the uh, Kyogre, which is definitely not primal. So uh, obviously I was worried about the last Pokemon, especially this one and the last one. That were the major threats of this team. So obviously this thing's really, really bulky in uh, special defense. I wanted, I just hoped I got a physical move to try and. Uh, you know, I hit this one really hard, people. The predictions in this battle were just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna out, <laughs> I'm gonna outspeed the Primal Koga, and guess what? I got C Bomb. What? I, I'm actually getting really lucky at the moment. So C Bomb like almost takes it out. No, well, not almost. I'm, I'm getting a little bit excited. Then it has Scum Cold. I can't believe it, and it misses. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So now going for the Metronome on my tech and I get taunt. Well, t taunting the uh, taunting the opponent, the Primal Koga, probably isn't the best thing. I just want to take it out. And then it's going to go for the Scummy Ward. It's got Scummy Ward instead of like Origin Pulse or, or whatever. And it takes me out with the crit. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I've only got two Pokemon left. I've got to get into this one. So on Hairy Mama, I've got my Normalium Z Metronome. Now, interesting. What uh, Normalium Z Metronome does, it uh, takes the move you, uh, you know, say you use. Uh, any move. Well, just an example here. I'm going to use the normal MZ metronome uh, and I'm going to get a Say I got a steel move right say I got like a iron head or something that would turn me into corkscrews crash So it sort of just depends what type of move you get so I got dark pulse here Which is going to turn into black hole eclipse obviously if you get a status move that does you know that doesn't work either So you normally have to get the uh, you know the attacking move for actually to work So uh, that's going to do nothing to primal koga if I came off a of physical like if it was like Z knockoff That would have taken it out then shit Cold hits on my Harry Armor. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna, this is bringing about flashbacks and bad memories, people. Why does this always happen to me? Like out of all the battles. So now my last Pokemon is the Cafable. So I've only got Metronome left, people. I've got to take out the Primal Koga. It's gonna use Strength. What a savage! It gave me Strength. Can't believe that. Just I, I just. I can't believe that. So go for the Metronome here, hoping I can take this thing out. I'm gonna use Glaciate. Unfortunately. It's not going to be very effective, and a Koga's special defense is very good too, so it's going to do nothing. I actually get a speed drop, which is cool, so I was like, oh, that's that's pretty handy. So now, um, I went for the Metro Room again, but they're, they're going to swap out their Pokemon, and uh, the Heavy Rain is going to lift people. It's cool, and uh, the last Pokemon was uh, the Necrozma Dawnwing, so this is a problem here. I've, I've got to do something to this. I get the Dark Pulse. I can't believe it. I got another super effective. I'm almost taking it out. Wow, what the? That's so lucky. So I'm going to outspeed it somehow, going for the metronome again. And I'm going to get it. Whirlpool, Whirlpool lands. I'm like, that's pretty good because uh, Whirlpool, like, just there's some nice fixed damage at the end of the turn. It's going to use Ring Out. You spin me right around, baby. That's going to do no damage to me at all. And uh, the Whirlpool is going to be enough to finish off the Dawn Wings Necrozma. The only Pokemon left now, people, is the Kyogre, and that's going to be game because I know I'm going to have to land like a basic hit against this thing. And, you know, it's all over. I know that I can tank a Scummy Water. Even in the rain, Fable's very bulky. Um, probably a critical hit will take me out. That's... What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full metronome team number three. I'm just going to pretend that battle didn't actually happen. Why does it always happen to me? So now we have another battle. This one was actually on my chat. This was against Eckhart. So this battle was 74 turns, and it took a very, very long time. So obviously, I had to speed this battle up a fair bit. So this time, I led off with a Mr. Mime. We had a little uh, battle with a opposing Grand Ball. Man, I'm still salty from that last battle. Oh, I hate one-hit KMOs. They always land on me. I lived on like one health, and I'm going to hit myself in confusion. So basically there, the Gramble uh, used, had Intimidate as ability. It topsy-turvy those stats back to me. I lived on like one health and hit myself in confusion. Oh, man. Out of all these battles, so there's so funny things. 
So, uh, Harry Armour is very good on my team with it. I gave that max health and max attack too. Disrespect Bubble Beam on the Grand Bull. So, Togetic, um, a lot of the uh, people had uh, that I played had like very similar Pokemon because there's obviously there's only a, um, a small move pool of uh, Pokemon that actually learn. Uh, Metro. So Togetic actually got hit by the Corkscrew Crash Bullet Punch. Very lucky again. Uh, Leaf Blade's not going to be enough to take it out. And uh, it's going to be with the Fairy Wind doing some pretty nice damage there. And uh, finishing it off with the Fake Tears, I wish. Uh, so that drops its special events by two stages. Now Lucky Chant was really good because that means I actually can't crit the opponent. Finishing off with a Stomp. Obviously these battles are very uh, quite difficult to rate too. Um, just so many things happen like There'd be like moves where we wouldn't hit each other for like 10 turns and things like that. So it's going to go the, uh, obviously that was the normal LMZ metronome too, getting a fighting type move. And the Dizzy Punch doing a lot to uh, Smeagol as well. Dark Void actually misses, obviously, and uh, because of the nerf, so that was quite funny. Uh, just remember that, uh, you know, back in the old days doing the metronome battles. Uh, it's going to use Spirit Shackle on my Harry Arm. It's just doing no damage to me at all. Now I get bulk up. So Harry Arm was actually sweeping through this team really nicely. The amount of times I got Whirlpool in all the battles were crazy too. Uh, getting another metronome and mid metronome gust, people. The Whirlpool takes it out. That, that gust and Whirlpool. So now uh, we have the Toga. I think they have all the uh, evolutions for Togepi on this team. Okay, uh, so Togekiss came up a lot of the time too. Poison Gas would have been really good to hit here. A lot of these battles, right, stuff like uh, Ingrain, Leech Seed, uh, like, po like Toxic Spikes on the field, Spikes, anything like that was really good. So I actually went for the Floral Healing on the, uh, the Togekiss there, which is a... Uh, like, moves like that were really bad. And uh, we had a Sky Force, uh, sorry, Shadow Force, and Sky Attack missed there. That is solid damage. Uh, I went for Metronome here, and I got the Hypnosis. That was really, really lucky. Uh, Togekiss got hit by that. Like, out of all these, these were probably the two most lucky as battles I got. Brick Break not going to do anything there. Oh, man. These are, this is so funny. Then I got Fly after all that time. Um, this was, Obviously, this was Max Attack, so I was hoping it would do some nice damage. And almost taking out the Togekiss. Tearful look, man. This is so overpowered. So now I'm going for final metronome, and I got Toxic Thread, which is good. Toxic Tagger is another really good uh, move as well. I'm trying to think of some other moves that were good. Uh, just, yeah, any like healing moves. Um, like, obviously, things like Healing Wish and things were like really, really bad if you got them. And I got, uh, I actually got Magnet Rise in, which is really nice. Then the Snorlax actually gets a Sword Dance off, which is really bad. So I was actually starting to worry at this point in the game. I get another move, like um, a trapping move, like Clamp. I actually got a lot of trapping moves in the battles that I did today. I got like Fire Spin, Clamp, Whirlpool, Infestation. Oh man, that peck was absolutely amazing. And now, now the Snorlax heals me with Heal Pulse. Oh, and uh, my Clam's gonna go around the big Snorlax. So going for Headbutt, hoping to get a flinch. That doesn't happen. And now Jewel Chop. Oh my goodness, Jewel Chop did so much damage after that. Oh my god. So going for the Bullet Punch on the uh, Snorlax doesn't do too much. And Snorlax is going to go for the Odor Sloop. That's not going to do anything. Uh, the whole the whole point of this, uh, the uh, trapping moves or Leech Seed, it just does like damage like all the time. Oh my goodness. That Floral Healing is amazing. Unfortunately, that Snorlax almost took it out. Then I healed it. So that's the problem with Metronome. You can get like, you can do a lot of damage. Then you can heal the opponent or you can just like, fight yourself or just do nothing. Speaking of doing nothing for about 10 turns, this Snorlax, right, uses all the normal type moves and fighting type moves in the world against my Sabre. Now, Sabre is actually pretty handy against uh, a lot of these teams because they're on normal types, right? And there's a lot of uh, normal type moves being used. So, I it was MVP in a lot of the battles, just tanking a lot of the moves or just nothing affecting it. Okay, uh, so we have Fake Tears dropping the Snorlax's special defense, which is good, and uh, using Return. Obviously, uh, that does, was zero happiness. Uh, getting hit by a Searing Shot, not doing too much to the uh, same play. Uh, gear grind, nice. That really uh, grinds my gears, people. Snorlax is almost down here, people. Poison Tail is not going to be very effective. And uh, going for the Metronome. Whirlpool again? What? Oh, I can't believe how many times I got that. Vine's not going to affect me, and that is Snorlax down. So we're getting to the latter end of the battle, people. So their last Pokemon is Clefable. Lots of purges are going to affect me because I'm a Dark type. Refresh is not going to work because I'm not status at all. Tail Whip going to drop my defense by one stage. And going for Telebot. Stay in the battle, you pussy. So now we're going for the Reflex. Setting up Reflex. That's annoying. I don't want to set uh, any uh, physical types against this. So going for a lunge. Getting a crit, which is nice, and dropping the attack of the Clefable. Uh, now uh, the X Scissor is slowly doing chip damage to me. Now I'm going to Tailwind. That's going to be handy. I'm going to be able to speed the Clefable for a couple of turns. Raw's not going to work because that's their last Pokemon. Powder, interesting. The cool thing about Metronome is you get to see a hell of a lot of array of 
uh, moves you'd probably never see being used to. So all those normal type moves, the Sobice is just sitting there taking him, going for Power Gem. Uh, we have Metronome, Seeker Power again, the Tailwind, and Reflect uh, go down this turn. Uh, we have the Lunge again, uh, that's going to drop my attack, unfortunately. Uh, going for Tail Slap, it misses. I ate my Leopard Berry, so obviously I've eaten all uh, my PP up. Grass Whistle Lounge, wow, that's such low and bad accuracy. So I'm asleep now. Now also, we uh, decided to not switch, uh, like swap out on these battles, so you had to actually stay in, unless you use something like Volt Switch or U-Turn, Parting Shot, something like that. Okay, uh, so go for another Metro. I get Seismos. Fixed damage moves are really good too. They're very good moves in these battles. Water Sport, that's going to do nothing unless I use a Fire type move. Oh, Splash people, if only had the normal LMZ. Uh, so now it's going to use Pound. That's not going to affect me. We've had so many. There were so many normal type moves, so I got a buff in defense. Uh, Fable's going to go for Dazzling Gleam. Oh, come on. So I've only got two Pokemon left, so we've got Mil Tank here. Okay, so Mil Tank using Extreme Speed. That stab almost took you out. And uh, that's going to get a Wish. Wow, I can't believe it used Dazzling Gleam, then Wish. Uh, it's going to go for Metro. Vacuum Wave, super effective against my Miltang. It's going to eat its Leopardberry. And it's going to get its Wish back. I can't believe that. I was so lucky. So now Hidden Power is not going to affect me. And it's going to go for Safeguard. And any status is not going to affect it. And guess what, people? I got Sleep out of the turn after. Oh, come on. And uh, now we're hitting it with the liquidation, not doing any. It feels like I'm like just commentating a sports game at the moment. And uh, now the Vacuum Wave again. What is this? So going for yet another uh, a, a laser focus, going to go for those scummy crits, people. Double slap, doing so much damage. They're hitting me two times, and guess what, people? I'm going to go for the Earth Power, and here is the big player of the match. It's coming up, people. Do I win or do I lose? What the fuck? A few moments later.